Hello and welcome to Morning News. I'm Kathy Marshall in today for Donna Kelly. A close call for the shuttle Endeavor a little more than two hours ago. That's right. The mission was aborted just milliseconds, we're told, really? before the liftoff on that. Our correspondent John Holloman is here now with the latest on all that. John? Quite an event out on launch pad 39A at the Kennedy mm -hmm. Space Center. Um, I'll tell you, we've got a lot, uh, a lot to talk about here. We've got several elements to this story to show you. First of all, let's look at the last 10 seconds of the countdown before one of the three main engines on board Endeavour shut down. We'll go to that first. We have three main engines running. Three, two, one. And have main engine cut off. GLS safety is in progress. GLS safety is in progress. It was a moment of high tension for the entire crew there at the Kennedy Space Center. And um, there was less than one second to lift off. Shuttle Endeavour engine shut down. A computer ordered shutdown caused, we are told, by a problem with a high-speed pump that forces liquid oxygen into the engine combustion chamber. And uh, we showed you what that launch looked like. Later, NASA commentator Bruce Buckingham updated the situation. We've had a main engine cut off with uh, uh, very little time to spare between uh, uh, cut off and lift off. Uh, however, the onboard computers did their job well. They, uh, they stopped the uh, engines from firing and, and indeed aborted the launch uh, when we had a, a less than perfect engine on board. Uh, the reasons for that uh, engine not uh, coming up to speed are still being assessed. Okay, I copy that engine. The managers are continuing to scan their computers for answers and, and reasons for this engine cutoff. Um, obviously, the first priority has been to assure that the crew is safe, and indeed they are reporting in safe. So, the uh, six-member crew is now um, off the shuttle. They are, they are, in fact, safe. Technicians and managers are meeting to figure out what happened to cause this. NASA's just released pictures from several cameras pointed directly at the engines. Some of the pictures black and white, others are in color. We'll show them all to you as my colleague Paul Karen joins us from the Kennedy Space Center. Paul, what are NASA officials telling you about what happened? Well, so far, uh, John, what they're looking at is that pump that you had talked about. And right now, they're still looking at the computer data in there, and they really don't know or they're not saying yet exactly what went wrong with that pump. Yeah, there are three engines that we are now seeing visible on television as you talk, Paul. The, um, as I understand it, there are a couple of temperature sensors that feed into the computer from that engine, and one of these got so hot that it crossed a line, um, what they call a red line, meaning it was much too hot, and the second sensor was showing that the temperature was rising as well. What does this mean to the space shuttle program, not only this mission, but the next mission? Well, it, of course, affects the next mission, which was scheduled to take off in just three weeks from today, actually. And what it does now is anybody's guess. NASA engineers are huddling right now to see when Endeavour will take off next. It could be a few weeks. It could be up to a month, even, as far as a delay. And, of course, that bumps into the next scheduled launch here, which would be the Space Shuttle Discovery, which was originally scheduled for mid-September. Now it's anyone's guess as NASA engineers are trying to sort all that out here right now, John. Okay, there are several possibilities, and I guess we'll know more about all this, Paul, when uh, NASA holds its news conference, which you'll be attending, in about two hours from now to give us more information on what happened and why. It's scheduled for 11 o'clock Eastern Time today. The NASA mission managers to tell us everything they can tell us up to this point, Leon, about what, what went wrong and how it will affect the space program. Interesting. Just seconds. Yeah. Yeah, listen, Anything like this ever happened before that well, you recall? Well, they've had four previous situations where the main engines in their little five-second test phase have fired up and then shut down, mm -hmm. uh, but nothing that happened this close to the, uh, to the instant where they light the solid rocket. The thing that's interesting about this is the, the three liquid-fueled engines, the main engines, can be shut down manually after you start them up, which is what happens. Mm -hmm. But once you light those solid rockets, it's like a firecracker. You can't put it out. It. It's yeah. going to leave. Boy, man, as long as the astronauts are safe, that's good news. That's the best news of all. All right, thanks, John. We'll check with you later on that. Okay. Another news this morning, Coast Guard cutters rescued... Seconds before before liftoff, the Space Shuttle Endeavour had a serious problem. The onboard computer sensed temperatures that were too high in a high-speed turbo pump pushing liquid oxygen into the combustion chamber. Here's where the pump is located on the side of the main engine. When the computer saw the high temperatures, it aborted the launch less than a second before those huge solid rockets on the side were to be fired. We have three main engines running. Three, two, one. And have main engine cut off. GLS safing is in progress. GLS safing is in progress. That safing procedure took quite a while. Shuttle Commander Mike Baker told CNN he and his crew were obviously disappointed their mission was delayed. At the moment of the abort, the astronauts had to make the shuttle safe so they could leave it. I asked Baker about the level of danger between the abort decision and the time he left the orbiter. 
it's uh, it's kind of hard for me to assess. We obviously the the vehicle is ready to launch. All the uh, systems are ready to go. The engines have uh, fired. Uh, there's some concern for fire on the pad. Some concern on the fire by the uh, by the main engines, but. Uh, fairly quickly, we leave the water system running, and fairly quickly on, we heard that uh, there were no uh, fires that they could detect with any of the systems that they have on the pad. NASA managers now expect the Endeavour mission to be stalled for at least three weeks and possibly longer. Launch Director Bob Seek says he and his crew had a similar reaction to that of the shuttle crew. I don't know how you spell all shucks, but <laughs> that's the term that applies. Uh, but uh, seriously, the focus then is making sure that that you have a safe system out at the launch pad for the for the crew. Uh, engine shutdowns you hope are as benign as it were as this one that, that all the valves close and everything works the way the computers are programmed. But what what you and and that's what you look for and because if that doesn't go for the plan, then there's manual activity, the procedures that the launch team has to execute with the flight crew, and the more timely they're done, the safer you are. So the focus is on getting everything out there safe. Seek says the most danger to the crew after the abort was that liquid hydrogen, a highly explosive chemical, would have somehow been ignited by any kind of electrical spark while the astronauts were throwing those switches. If that had happened, the result could have been disaster. But the NASA safety system worked, we are told, and after the three engines are replaced and tested, Endeavour and its space radar lab will fly again. All right. Thanks, John. Thanks okay. for staying on top of that one for us.